everybody feels good to be back sorry for the lack of super auto pets on youtube um i'm gonna pull the like uh card that is not fair for me to pull because there's no comeback but i was very ill with a considerable health crisis that thankfully has been resolved thanks to a course of antibiotics that i had to fight tooth and nail in order to be prescribed but has really cleared things up for me and uh, although I'm still kind of working the last vestiges of that cold that I got last week out, I'm feeling great. And can I tell you something as well? This week's weekly is like actually pretty fun, in my opinion. I'm going to keep you around. Uh, I've been having a good time playing it on stream. Let me be a, I mean, a shiny beaver. Shiny beam is good too, but like shiny beaver, you know, it depends how much you respect the double entendre versus the the coherence, I suppose. Um, this weekly, I mean, I'm going to spoil it for you. I, I hope you're in for some nostalgic viewing because it's very much, uh, I would say, reminiscent of pack one. I don't see why I wouldn't invest here. It seems fine to me. Uh, very reminiscent of pack one. So th there's giraffes seem to be very important for scaling. Peacocks as just like an abstractly like, you know, strong unit. I feel like last week I couldn't wrap my head around how to get past like four wins. This week, it just feels right. There's some animals I don't love, all of which have appeared in the shop here. Um, but otherwise, like, I feel pretty good. And I also feel like peach is kind of a dynamite food right now. Um, so we're just going to invest heavily there. I know the squad doesn't look that inspiring right now, but it's, it's a stat-driven world early on here. It's unfortunate we didn't get any spare levels, but, but it's a stat-driven world out there. And speaking of which, we're about to get absolutely destroyed by this incredibly strong unit. Um, basically, congratulations on getting a giraffe. I'm very happy for you. So I think we're a little behind the eight ball, but that's okay. Let me get a level. Let me, let me get a camel. And I think this pig's got to go soon. Let me invest in this camel. Now, I'm, I'm willing to tell you... I don't know if we even take you any further, honestly. I'm willing to tell you, I don't know if a camel's gonna be uh, like part of a, a 10 piece win, but I will say, uh, I think we're kind of bereft of options, so it makes sense to give it a chance at the very least. Don't shoot my mosquito, thank you. I feel like, like there's no reason that, especially with a mosquito this strong, there's no reason we can't start to talk about at least having, you know, a path to the end game. The other thing I wanted to say, by the way, you know what, why don't you take a pineapple and then maybe I will fixate on getting you an extra level as well. I just want to see how the rest of the, the rolls would work out for us here. Maybe you do better with a, with a garlic first, but um, I would say that this is like, it's pack one scaling up until about tier five, tier six, and then it gets a little crazy. From that point onwards, it gets a little bit insane. Oh, you are freaking lucky, man. Oh, we no, because you got a stork, so we oh, we didn't even get there. Never mind. I miscalculated, which is very common for me. Um, so it does get a little bit different, for sure. I would say once you get to uh, like the late game units. Look, I think we got to replace a five two with a seven two, and I don't really mind if you kill this otter. I would try to buff our camel. And you know, it's, uh, I mean, it's, I, I'm not disappointed with anything that we got in there. I, I don't know if we have enough scaling right now, but I think this is a reasonably good preview. But once we get to the tier sixes, that's honestly where I struggle sometimes. Cause you got your, you got your stegosauruses, you got your spinosauruses, you got your, you know, your, your bibs and your bobs and your so on. So that's where things get a little bit uh, confusing for me. But so far in this weekly, I've been pretty comfortable in the in the early game i haven't been feeling like too bad about things in the early game so we got to find some fuel for the mantis um it has to eat something uh we might as well have it eat a seagull i suppose why not and i still think the order is okay here we're, we're looking for faster scaling, like a monkey or, or even like a seal, maybe? I, I'm kind of undecided about the seal in this pack, but I, I think it's got a chance. Don't kill me. You're gonna kill me. Okay, that's fair. So we're gonna be on lethal. I don't feel that bad about it. I do feel like the mantis was maybe not the right choice. But apart from that, I, I don't feel too bad. Ooh, 
I didn't mean to buy you. I meant to buy the mosquito. That's okay. We're going to be stuck here. Okay, so for all of my talking, we might be stuck at four wins in the first game. But, I mean, oh, we're definitely going to be stuck at four wins in the first game. However, last week, um, four wins was like the best run I've ever had. So, I'm not going to cry about losing the two giraffes and uh, like a cow. The heck are we going to do with this? Cell build? I'm going to try the chinchillas just because there's two of them. If, if there were not two of them, I would not take them. And we'll go, um, how about a hungry, hungry biker? Not cyclist, hungry biker. Honest question. I'm going to guess, by the way, that the answer to this is no. Can you take your bike, like your, your, your manual bike, through the drive through or is that one of those things where, and I'm not ragging on the staff, okay? Is that one of those things where the staff will yell at you and say, we don't, it's like against our insurance policy for somebody to not be in a self-contained vehicle. I feel like that's likely. I'll take my draw. I think our team is horrendous right now, <laughs> so I'll take my draw. I would just like to see a dog. I would like to, to, to get a dog going here. Um, cause I, I, I don't love what I'm seeing. Dog, a little dog. Um, this is a, this is a tough one. I'm going to keep buffing this pig cause I think that I would rather sell a chinchilla than sell a pig. And then to be honest, I, I want to be very clear. I don't think that we have a great long-term outlook here, but we have only lost one HP, probably three total after this. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this squad, honestly. One unit with 10 HP is kind of a lot. It looks like we're going to draw. I'll take it. Even though we were, that was a two squad, so it's kind of embarrassing. I think we want to put meat on you. And then we want to start like sending out units that we'd be happy to see meat show up on. Like meat being on you seems fine. I don't really see... Well, I guess... Six, seven. I don't really see this team getting too far. But a free meet whenever we want to get a new unit involved, that's, that's not so bad. You could certainly do worse. Holy cow, we actually won a round. Easily, I might add. I don't think it's too late for a dog, but I do think it's kind of boring to, to dog it up here. But then I do, I mean, I'd get... Two things on the cell for you, right? Like, that's pretty... Okay, I, I'll try it. You're not going to love this, by the way. But I think, look, we have a 6-7 pig or a 7-1 stork. I think you look at this because we need to sell something to get generate the two chinchillas here. I think you look at this and you probably say, you know what, as good as the pig is, as much as we've invested, um, the stork probably looks better long term. And I don't know what I'm going to do with you guys just yet. You've held food to the friend behind. It's like there's got to be a synergy there, but at the same time, I don't see it. <laughs> Embarrassingly enough, about one of these real quick. And then, oh, you give me an apple on sell. That's right. So let's roll <clears throat> another stork. Okay, I kind of like what I'm seeing, honestly. I feel like this, this pivot isn't as cursed as I thought it would be, which is nice to, to say for the first time. And then I do think we want another stork out there. And then I do think we... Oh, we should have summoned it to the side. That's literally, like, just a mistake. And then... Sure, for now, let's get a giraffe out there. I understand that we didn't get all the food. But that's just how the seagull works. You're not always going to get the food. To have, essentially, a 13-12 dog out there feels pretty good, man. It actually feels... I, I would take it a step further. I would say that it feels amazing. I would also say it feels amazing to lose afterwards, but at least I feel like I have a future. So sell me. I don't see the woodpecker being part of the team. I think we probably we want to dump our seagulls soon. You could woodpecker pineapple. I don't think it's that good. But you know what? Now that I think about it, it's at least kind of fun. It wastes the meat, but like so be it. It's fun. So sue me, okay? Now we got an otter. I mean, I would... I think this is a decent, like, buy. Keep buffing the dog on the cell. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. 
I, I genuinely don't think this team is that bad. But obviously the results, you know, speak for themselves. <laughs> At least we sort of got a one for one in there. That doesn't always happen. That doesn't happen every time. I can't do this again. I'm sorry. I, I can't get through all the units and then lose to like a, sl a slightly bigger unit at the back. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm running out of patience for that. So despite everything we've been through, I think if you want this run to go the distance, we almost have to say it's hippo time, it's morbing time. I don't think we're gonna invest in our woodpecker. I think we're just gonna make the, the hippo get stronger. Maybe we could run like this. I, I know that it doesn't look good, it's not an inspirational look that we have. Oh, and then thanks for that, like every single time. Um, it's not an inspirational look that we have going on here. And I, I respect and embrace that we're possibly about to just get one win. I swear, uh, sweetheart, it didn't, this never happens on stream. The, the lowest amount of wins I got on stream today was genuinely... No! I'm okay. I'm okay. Just summon an incredible unit. That's good enough to draw. Thank you. Um, was four. So like I'm I'm feeling bad. I guess it's just the I'm just feeling bad about this one. Okay. I honestly you have to go. You don't you can't really go this time. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Dump the meat by garlic. Pray that this gets you through a round. Next time, we got good summons for the dog. We level up the freaking stork. There's no pills to use with this, so don't cry or whatever. I don't know, man. I'm looking at this and I'm saying I think we might have had, like, the perfect setup. Thankfully, the perfect setup. I really appreciate that. Okay, there's two. <clears throat> Some You have to go. You have to get summoned. And then placed. Man, if, <coughs> pardon me, if the lioness can work, we gotta, we gotta give it a try, right? I don't think we care about the giraffe anymore. I do think we care about the monkey. Am I really gonna sell you to get a monkey out there? Yeah, I think we absolutely have to at some point. It's not, it, I mean, the dog getting scaling is important. Really, we just need anything to get scaling. And we probably actually wanna move Hippo up. I was begging, begging for a scorpion to somehow be on my team here, but obviously that's not the case. Okay, two wins, that's horrible. Let's get your head in the game, okay? That's fine. The great start, freeze the best food. That's incredible, thank you so much, oh my god. This is an awesome start, this changes everything. Let me be a, a ironic underdog. Like, dude, I want the Patriots to win because I always root for an underdog. This is, I, I, I could not be happier about this team, you know? So th there's something to be said for like, when the run starts and you get exactly what you wanted to get. That feels like it sets you, I don't know if that move made any sense. Um, that feels like it sets you on a good path for the rest of the game. You're focused, you got a little bit of a leg up. It, no matter what decision you make, it seems to work out, you know? It's, uh, everything's coming up roses. I think that's true in life as well, you know? I think you can find yourself having early success in that snowballing, or vice versa. Something doesn't go your way early, like, you know, maybe you're a little slow to learn the alphabet in kindergarten. All of a sudden, that sets the rest of your life on a path that maybe you're not pleased with. So th that early shop is important, and also, it's a good reminder that you do, you know, have some the degree of controlling your own destiny. So if you don't like what you got, why don't you change it? If the world is all screwed up, rearrange it. As Canadian rock band Loverboy said. Okay, straight up. I, you got to pick a unit relatively early and ride it. And, and we're picking the, the beetle here. It's going to be... It's got a croissant. It's a 5-7. I'm completely fine with having taken the, the woodpecker here just because it showed up so early. And if we could get a pineapple, I would put it on it early and feel like that's three gold potentially well spent. Now, do I care about anything here? We could try a peacock, but I think I'm just going to... Well, let's, let's freeze and roll. I'm still... Okay, I'm basically just going to buy and buy. Um, and how do I feel about a 4-6 flamingo? 
Originally, I wasn't that impressed, but now I think I would actually definitely sell a pig. And if we're gonna do that, I suppose we might as well keep our other flamingo around. We'll keep this around. Level two flamingo next time. I don't think that's that amazing, but maybe a good mantis opportunity in the future. And either way, I mean, it is, it's a level. You're never gonna say no to a level. Well, I say no to a level oftentimes, but in this situation, I'm not gonna say no to it. So this is feeling like, who, who knew, man? Because of that early success, I'm feeling pretty solid right now. Let's get this and this. This is amazing. We're going to freeze the hippo and the peach. We're gonna roll. It makes more sense to just buy the hippo. <laughs> As much as I was like, then we're gonna freeze the, we're gonna feed, well, no, because I guess it gives two health to you and two health to you. I was totally wrong. It makes way more sense to to have fed to Bacta a little. But at least here we do get the hippo out of like a turn earlier, which may or may not make a difference. But either way, like the hippo is a great unit. That's why you see uh, everybody use it literally all the time. I'm okay with the draw there, but I, I do feel like we left some stats on the table. That being said, I feel like that's big. That's big. Roll me. I feel like that's big, honestly. I feel like garlic is a big hurdle to get over right now. So I would love a level 3 beetle. If, if the game would be so kind to us. Obviously, that is not, this is a very strong team, by the way. Um, obviously, that's not been the case yet. But I, I think it's definitely still in the cards. I'm keeping you around. I think you've got great potential. Right now, well, I'm not really keeping you around. I'm immediately putting you into the hippo here. Don't really see it. I don't see anything there doing it for us. Uh, here, I feel like I could be compelled to do this and then also keep rolling for something better later. I really don't see it being the worm. I think an anteater is okay. But the problem with an anteater in this pack is that everybody runs hippo. So... If everybody's running Hippo, you're not really getting one over, fair enough, on the competition by running the Anteater. You're just feeding someone else's Hippo. Okay, we're on, uh, we're not on Lethal, thank God. But it does sort of feel like the whole thing's falling apart. I don't think we can justify a pair anymore. I definitely think we can justify a Hippo. I would love to not be rolling. Did I say pair? I meant Peach, by the way. If we lose, I'll be happy this exists. But I would love to not be rolling just a random 3-4 beetle. I think that's definitely part of our problem. I would love it if our hippo could actually, like, get some favorable trades, but that seems impossible. We're scaling so slowly, it's all falling apart. I'm gonna level. And I'm going... I'm gonna do the sell-by. You don't have to, because you could have gotten a, yeah, yeah, another creature okay well, whatever dude honestly well i don't know i don't know what you want me to take here because i don't think the taper is actually that good with this squad <clears throat> sorry sorry i'm okay i'm okay i'm just i'm just annoyed i'm just upset i'm looking at this team and i'm saying do something but i'm the person who's driving the ship and i ain't doing anything Please tell me you can... Oh my god, you're not going to two for... That's okay! That's the Beatles going to do it. Okay, I promise, Lord, if we get through this... I'm a changed man, okay? Thank you for my fifth win. Another hippo. Well, let's buff. And then let's force ourselves to have to buy another unit. Yeah, I didn't really want it to be you. Um, but I think you can do this. And then finally... I mean, I know we're running a snail. That's not fantastic. Um, but at least we can get some value out of our, out of our flamingo for this. And hold on, I'm starting to feel like we might have gone up against a dream team for the purposes of making this happen. Obviously we have to get rid of our snail, so I have to close a couple of epic games pop-ups there. Okay, Hippo is starting to do something. My in incredibly long investment into this unit appears to be coming to bear fruit. Now you, I'm not really that concerned about. I don't think we need to invest in you that much. I think I want a tier six. <clears throat> no, I think I want a level three hippo because I thought about just taking the level on you, but it is what it is. Okay, we need the level three. 
obviously we're still going to be running a snail. So I think you have two choices. Let's, let's freeze this for now. I think you have walrus and you have uh, fly. And I think the best choice for us right now is going to be walrus. They're both great. I think you can make an argument for both. But I think... Um, I mean, mantis fly is kind of interesting. I don't know if it actually does anything for us, but it's certainly... Certainly interesting. Well, you know, I'll, I'm happy with the way this went down. And I'll tell you a second thing. I'm realizing, I should have realized it earlier, but I'm realizing now that this little cheeky setup right here gives somebody death touch, which is really nice. I'm also realizing, there's a lot to like, eagle getting killed by a mantis, but like Stegosaurus giving a 12-12 buff to our hippo so it hopefully trades more favorably. And, and sometimes all a hippo needs is that little extra support at the start. Um, and then it can go off. That's pretty good. Thank God that the walrus is only level one. That's going to allow us to actually get through here. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit more accomplished. That's seven wins. Now, by the way, you're not going to see. Sure, why not? I mean, you're sticking around. I'm happy to have you. <clears throat> this, a taper on the squad seems interesting here, doesn't it? Could summon a Stegosaurus or a Hippo? I don't think it could summon a Mantis due to order. We could force it to summon a Mantis, but why don't you take one of these for now as well? And then do we like anything here? I don't think we really have a need to swap. You could. You could, so you could, you could become like a 10-15 instead. I think I'd rather invest in some rolling to try to get duplicate pets. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe I would have rather swapped. The taper is just an interesting pick. I don't necessarily think it's that good for us, but it is... It's a little unusual. What do you summon? A stegosaurus. So you, basically I give you a free trigger, but then... And then... And then, okay. What I was going to say is you're not going to see that creative of teams in this pack from me, but it feels good to just go back to the classics, honestly. Okay, so a beetle we can't use. It's okay, life goes on. I don't think we're going level two leopard. I don't think we're running a fly or a tamarind or anything. So we just got to find like the right spot for it. Um, I think you could run, if you had to, you could run this and then get the buff out of the monkey and then kill it. I'm realizing, I mean, the eagle's good too, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> and I think the taper is fine too, for the record, but... I don't think we have enough scaling to realistically bet on getting to, to 10 wins. Like, one scorpion just blows us out. But, I mean, at the risk of sounding insane, sometimes you don't run into a scorpion. And if that's the case, then, then I'll be feeling okay. Right now we're at 9, though, so there's something. Uh, none of this is that good. <clears throat> Although I guess technically a stake on you is probably worth the investment now. Rooster, lionfish. Honest, honestly, honestly, I would take a lionfish just because if we go up against a scorpion in position one, the lionfish will overwrite the peanut. But that's really the only reason I took it. It overrode a stake here, but we also had our own stuff overridden, which is annoying as well. Okay, we're gonna lose, but that was very close and I feel better. Nine wins, and I hope you can see that this is a fun weekly for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Feels good to be back. See ya.